thing on the Japan rankings. And yet he's taking out people like like T, who did phenomenally at Civil War. He's taking out people like MK Leo, who's ranked number two in the world. So it, it just really shows like you, you can't really like if you see a Japan ranking probably and they're like really, too. really down, <laughs> like low, they're probably still really amazing. You can't you can't really say like, oh he's 128, he probably is not gonna beat the number one in my region. It's like uh, you know, he might just. <laughs> yep. Well, the two trading hits right now, already a lot of good percent, and uh, Takara releasing, releasing that focus attack, kind of hoping that Salem would go right into there. Great SDI from Takara to get out of that Wishwish combo, but still, Salem maintained his edge guard positioning, and no tech from yeah. Takara. Unfortunate there from Takara, and only 33% put on to Salem, sitting in a really good spot, and we, we know he's going to go from side to side. Oh, and I love that up tilt to be able to extend into that 40% combo. There's oh, a wish time. Down smash, it? down air. Down air. Yeah. Wow. Took no percent uh, after taking that first stock. Completely just obliterated Takara. I just blinked and yeah, the, the first game's over. GG. I mean, this is why some people have been thinking maybe, yeah, Salem, first in the world? Maybe. He's, I mean, he already has two S tier wins under his belt. Let's see if he's trying to seal out the third one right now. It is definitely very, like, it's up for discussion, of course, but the way he has been performing, he's been performing at a top three level, to say the least. Definitely. I know a lot of people are saying that he's potentially top five or even top three, like you said. We're going to go to Battlefield here. Let's see if this is a different change. If this different change of scene is going to be able to help out Takata right now. Yeah, I mean, this, this was the stage where he was able to completely shut out Con Con for the most part. Uh, we saw he was really comfortable on this stage, which is looking like Salem may just be a little bit more comfortable. Oh, oh. right there, his jumps were eliminated. Yeah. He thought uh, right there, Tatatsu actually taking out that jump, and so Salem didn't have enough space to make it back to the stage. So that's a lucky break for Takela right now. So he's got a full stock to work with and a little bit of rage. So it's looking real good right now for this second stock. However, all Salem has to do is the similar thing to the first game, pull himself right back into it. Trying to chase with these up airs, not quite find anything. <laughs> and that's the one thing interesting about this matchup is that Bayonetta is like freaking flying everywhere, and then you have Ryu who has like the slowest air speed in the game, I think. Yeah, his mobility, uh, besides focus attack, is not very good. Focus attack allows him to move in and out in the air a lot better than he would without it. Yeah, caught the missed tech, not gonna be able to follow up out of that witch twist. Ooh, okay, finally actually can get the tech in that situation. Salem just bullying Takeda, not letting him touch center stage at all. Respecting him just a little bit, lets him get back to the center stage. Wants to find that kill setup another way and goes in there with the afterburner kick. Does not get anything else though. One hundred forty-nine percent on Takeda, still living on his first life. On oh, a great air dodge, just getting right out of that situation, avoiding that up air. Not gonna avoid that Nair though, still living. Battlefield helping up out a lot right now. Okay, back throw from Salem, still not enough. He's living to 184%. These Ryus are living for so long today. Finally, that back here gonna close it out. Yeah, 197%, but already 97 onto Salem. I think one up to Australia will be lights out for Salem right now. It's a matter of Salem letting him do that. <laughs> Oh, single hit of the forward air. Actually, was able to keep up with this momentum. That's going to be a punish on the sh with Choryu. Salem not able to take him up to the top, but he's still racking up this damage. Yeah, it looks like Takara has been SDI up every single time. I wonder if Salem will try to chase the SDI and go for something else, maybe a double witch twist or something. But right now, Salem, he is known for being very, very careful if he is in a situation where it needs to be. And he's already got a lot of good percent onto Takeda. I think one wish time will be able to seal out. And we haven't seen too many besides that last stock in game oh, one. Oh, man. He tried to go off the stage with that single forward here, recognizing Takeda had expended his jump, but he gets hit by the hard up tilt. And that's enough to close out that stock and the game, evening out the set count one to one. Yeah, but that was, that was over a little bit of a cheesy situation yeah. with the Tatsu taking out that jump. Not too often that you see a Bayon not actually make it back to the stage. So if Salem plays a little bit more careful and respects Takara a little bit more off stage, yeah. he might be able to close this out. Or 
on the opposite side of the coin, Takera might be getting a little bit of momentum right now. We'll see what happens here, folks, at game three. Yeah, it's, cr it's uh, crazy. I mean, you know, he two-stocked him 33% on the first game. It, maybe that had a factor to play into it as well. He just kind of felt himself, and he's still feeling himself right now. So maybe Salem's just that confident of a guy. And right now, Salem keeping Takara off stage as long as possible. He's going to finally drop that edge guard, though. Takara going to have a chance to make it back with the up tilt with that anti air. So much damage onto Takara right now. Uh, 93%, in fact. Salem only at 2% and looking in a really, really good place. You can see Salem being really careful to not need to approach as long as he has his percent lead. And so he's going to force Takara to try and. Get those, <laughs> get those uh, forced approaches. Uh, double AGK into the up air, not enough to kill, but still good damage for Salem. Prime space back air, I think, but Takara's back air came out first. Still ferrying him across the stage. Let's see what he does here. He's keeping the ledge and tries finding a jump with that back air. Not quite going to find anything, though. All right, cross up back air, putting Takara off stage. Potential edge guard. Catches the get up back with the reverse forward air onto the stage. Back throw, just reset the situation. Want to keep him on stage as long as possible. And right there, Takara mixing up his ledge get up with that jump. Salem didn't want to do it the second time. And there's a Nair actually catching him on the landing. So he's going to be able to take out that next stock. Only 33% onto him. Yeah. Salem's playing it uh, super, super clinical, actually. He's playing very safe, very simple. Not really going for too many extreme conversions and potentially zero to deaths off the top, as you would see from Bayonetta. But able to just keep racking up the percent until he's able to get the kill with anything else. Yeah, I mean, this is what you have to do against Ryu, just force those high committal approaches and then be able to go to town once you're able to get that punish because if he does get in, like we saw against Mr. R, it's potential death right there. And you can see Salem just being extremely careful, jumping over these fireballs. Does not want to be in Takara's bubble at uh, all. Sitting at the Super Saiyan percent, he's try not trying to get hit one more time. Potentially close it out right here and now. Finds another opening with that neutral air. And right there, doesn't commit to the check chase. If you could do a wake up DP, that catches a lot of people off guard, but Salem was ready for it and just respected him there. Uh, There's the witch time, a single jab into the up smash. Not enough, actually. Yeah, I'm actually a liar. Sorry about that, folks. Catching with the back air again. Let's see if he does. Tries getting that edge guard knowing the Tatsu is coming out, but just gets hit by it instead. Here we go. This may be another opportunity for Salem to close it out. Still hasn't lost his stock, so he's actually just, you know, allowed to make a lot of errors right now or, or go for a lot of risky maneuvers. Oh, what a great dash attack. Catching him out of the bats within. 132% is still doable, but... As long as Salem just keeps what he's been playing, then this is going to look lights out for Takara right now. Oh, nice forward air into the up air. 25%. It's going to need a little bit more than that. Oh, 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 oh my god. Talk to him, Takara. Yeah, that dare, if it was a little oh. bit closer, try going in for it again. That's what's been saving Salem right there. <laughs> Takara trying to make this happen. He does not. He, has the mental resilience to keep going, and Salem is trying to be very careful in the back air. We'll be able to close that stock. Very close situation, but Takara looking a little bit too flustered there. Super close. That was unbelievable. Uh, really, really hype set, in fact. Yeah, that was Takara's chance right there. Yeah, that, that, that would have been two back-to-back back-to-back um, uh, back upsets. 